Hello. I'm just about over that bug that I've been dealing with for the past week or a little, little bit longer now. Um, I'm just dealing with some residual uh, kind of coughing and um, some runny nose. Um, but it's, all, it's all mostly good now. Um, last night I, uh, I've been, I've been inspired by, um, videos from the, uh, of the one chip challenge and I'm still, I've decided that I'm gonna actually like do it on Christmas when I go out to my, uh, grandparents' house and, um, a bunch of family's gonna be there so, um, I think that would be like a good time to kind of do the challenge and and I'm going to try and see if I can find a few more of them and uh, a few more one chip challenge chips and um see if anybody else wants to try it with me um but anyway uh last night I got some um Doritos flaming hot cool ranch chips to try cuz like those sounded interesting and it's because I've been inspired and by these videos watching the one chip challenge that I've been kind of wanting to like up my game a bit and try and uh uh get some um spicier things and kind of try and see how far I can go. I know the one chip challenge is going to be the end all be all uh, and, uh, that's gonna be the hottest thing I will ever eat in my lifetime, I am sure. I don't think I will go any hotter than that. As it is, the one chip challenge is supposed to be 1.2 to 1.7 million Scoville units, and, uh, that's insane. And by comparison, something like Takis or, uh, Flamin' Hot Doritos is somewhere in the range of 30 to 50,000 Scoville units as far as I've the information I've read. So, um I mean, flaming hot the 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 bag of <coughs> the bag of Cool Ranch um flaming hot Doritos that I had yesterday. Um I had to eat in two um kind of two sittings because of the fact that they were they were kind of tolerable for a bit, but then it kind of got to about the halfway mark, and I was like, um, I'm, I'm gonna let this, this cool down a bit, uh, before I have the rest. Um, my spice tolerance is very, very, very low. Um, the one chip challenge people have been, uh, trying it, and some people, like, some people, it, 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 there's a lot of different reactions that people will have to it. Some people, it's like almost nothing. Um, some people go absolutely bonkers. And <laughs> so I, I know, I know that I'm expecting for it to be like, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, crazy um i'll be right back i need to check the mail um it just came uh a little a few minutes ago so i'll be i'll be right back all right i'm back um so yeah i went out to check the mail and um one of my friends was actually outside because they were passing by and uh so they i we, we, we talked for a bit and, um, I got a few bucks back, um, from yesterday, yesterday. So, um, yeah, going back to the one chip challenge and spicy things, like my tolerance is very low and I have one and it's still completely sealed not opened. I'm not going to open it until I'm ready to do it, which is probably going to be on Christmas. But I'm going to see if I can um, 
get a few more of these, see if any of my family members want to uh, try it with me, or at least try a piece of one of one of them. But yeah. Um, anyway, I, I'm rambling a bit. Um, I was gonna try the Takis. I had the Flamin' Hot Cool Ranch Doritos yesterday, and um, I just wanted to try these. And I don't think. Whoa. I don't think I've ever had Takis, but then again, they've been around for such a long time. I've maybe had the, some variety of these. They smell spicy. I know for a fact I've never had these blue ones before. If I have had Takis before, I've not had these. These are like new. The packaging looks awesome. And it's like enlarged for detail. Imagine if there was like blue heat Taquitos or something like Takis did a tie-in or collab with a um, Taquito manufacturer and there's blue heat taquitos So Yeah, that's that's them blue blue heat Takis I'm gonna put this down so it doesn't spill so, Blue Heat, I checked to see how many Scoville units are, are in Takis, and um, like with the Flamin' Hot Doritos, it's you, it's somewhere around uh, thirty to 50,000 according to the information I read, but it, that could be, that is just an estimate as far as I know. Um, so, let's just, enough talk and let's, let's see what these are like. They look intimidating though because they're blue. <clears throat> Definitely different taste to the Cool Ranch Flamin' Hots from yesterday. Kind of sour. <clears throat> Pretty hot. Then again, it does say extreme on the bag. And since these are rolled up and such, they're pretty dense compared to um, Doritos, a bag of Doritos. This is also a 9.9 .9 ounce or 280.7 gram bag. Hot chili pepper, artificially flavored tortilla chips. Yes, grow your spice in a lab. <clears throat> because they do that, actually. Um, I mean, they, you, you grow your peppers and you get your heat from your peppers, but like capsaicin, the stuff that makes spicy things spicy, um can be synthesized in a lab. Probably most things can. Anyway, let's see, we've also got Takis Fuego, Takis Crunchy Fajitas. That sounds interesting. Follow us on Instagram at Takis USA, Twitter at Takis USA, and Facebook at Takis TerraCycle. But yeah. You have that first one, and it's like, ooh, that, that's got a kick. But, um... I mean, after a few of them, it's going to get a little bit overpowering.
But yeah, as I said before, I don't do spicy stuff very well and not very often. I used to think Taco Bell hot sauce was hot. And it is. Um, it's not hot, as hot as like the fire sauce or like other things. It's not as hot as these. I don't think. I don't remember. I haven't had Taco Bell hot sauce in a while. That'll be something I'll do next time I go to Taco Bell. Get some hot sauce. I usually always would have the mild because like I was afraid of the hot sauce being too hot. But Taco Bell hot sauce is probably nothing compared to anything else really. I think the flaming Hots from yesterday were actually a little bit hotter than these. Which the flaming Hots were still tolerable up to about half the bag. The only thing that puts me off of these a little bit is the um the sour hit. Only is cuz I'm not I'm not used to like lime and such on chips. It's a little, little weird for me. It's not terrible, but it's like not something I'm used to enough to for it to be a regular thing. Then again, spicy things, as I've said, are not a regular thing for me anyway. But I do like these. And this is definitely my first time having these. May or may not be my first time having Takis in general. This brand has been around for ages now. And so I've probably at some point somewhere had a Taki or two. But this is definitely my first time having these. And they're not bad. The It's just the sour bit. That's kind of a little weird. It's not bad. It's not terrible, but it's a little weird. Just a little bit. So. I'm going to put those away and have some more later. And this one chip challenge, I will do at some point. That's like the fake out thumbnail to make it like look like I had one of these and No, but I will be doing this for sure on like Christmas or something. That's the plan. If I don't do it beforehand. So, yeah, that's that's really about it for now. Um, this is definitely not clickbait. I definitely have not had the one chip challenge yet. But I will have it soon. And, um, yeah, so, if you're afraid of one of, if, if you're afraid of one of these, and there's definitely good reason to be, um, try you some Blue Heat Takis. Or like some other like spicy chips that come in like a normal bag like these. Um, and kind of maybe see if you can build up your tolerance. I mean, I've got a long way to go. The 1.2 to 1.7 million Scoville units of the blue of the of the one chip challenge versus the 30 to 50,000 of the Takis. And Flaming Hot Doritos. <clears throat> okay, so this video is going on kind of a while and I'm about done. Um, I just wanted to talk about these and that and all that. So that's it for now. Um, see you whenever.